Hey YouTube Opinionated Reviewer here and I figured since uh, we just got the Ontario jailbreak for iOS 5.1.1 and the new iPad just got its first jailbreak then I should do a top 10 iPad tweaks video. Now if you haven't jailbroken your device on iOS 5.1.1 yet untethered, I'll have a link in the description that I did on that. It supports any device, any of the devices that support iOS 5.1.1. So yeah. Also, I also have a top 30 or top 50 CD tweaks uh, post. I'm going to have the link in the description for that. That's for all the devices. This one is basically focused on the iPad. So, yeah, if you want to, for your iPhone, iPad Touch and stuff like that, check out the link in the description. And also, as I said, if you haven't jailbroken before, check out the link in the description. I have a full post on that. Follow me on Twitter if you have any problems. But right now... These tweaks aren't in any order, it's just my top 10 for the iPad. And let me point out that um, if you want to see full in-depth video on all of the tweaks I'm doing here, I'm going to have a link in the description to a post with a full in-depth video on every tweak. I'm not going to be able to cover every tweak because the video is going to be um, probably like 60 minutes long, whatever. Let's just jump right into it. The first one is called Dashboard X. I did a video on this a couple days ago, link in, as I said, check out link in the description. This one basically allows you to add widgets to your home screen. So you guys can see right here, I have my name cat widget, I also have my um, calendar widget here and I have my SB settings widget here. I only downloaded three of them for the purpose of this video but you can add more than three. Uh, I'll also have a top 10 notification center widgets video because Dashboard X uses notification center widgets. Next on the list we have IntelliScreen X and if you don't know about IntelliScreen X where the hell have you been? I did a full long in-depth video on this and IntelliScreen X long story short it it's like your notification center on steroids. You have several different pages where you can add Facebook, Twitter, and also an um, um, I think that's RSS feed, and it has a lot, 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 lot more features. Check out link in the description if you want a full video on IntelliScreen X. This next one is freaking awesome. This one is called Corsair, and basically what it allows you to do is you can open up multiple windows yes I said it multiple windows so I have one window there I'll go back to my home screen I just open up Cedia so let's touch on Cedia you guys can see I have two windows there uh, I want more than two I'll just go ahead and open up my music app and you can see I have four windows there now I can resize these if I want to and just make it fit better um, just touch it like that, just touch it like that, resize it, and just for the fun, I'm going to go ahead and open a next one just because I can. So let's just go ahead and open up notes. So there you guys can see I have four different windows open up with Corsa. If I want to launch them full screen, I could just do that, or I could just go out and close out all of them if I want to. Link in the description to a full video on that if you want to see all the features. The next one is called Spring to My Eyes 2 and I'm not going to even demo it because basically what it does, it, try, it lets you customize almost any part of your device. I did a full in-depth video on that, you'll have to check that out in the description. If you don't know what it is, I'm sure most of you do, but if you don't, definitely check out that full video I did on Spring to My Eyes 2. This next one is called Folder Enhancer. Folder Enhancer basically lets you enhance your folder. So you guys can see this, this it doesn't, the default folders don't open like that. I can actually put folders, I can actually put folders inside of folders if I want to, inside of folders. And no, I'm not going to use the folderception joke. <laughs> I used the folderception joke. You see, you see what I did there? You see what I did there? <laughs> but it, it's freaking awesome. It basically lets you put however infinity amount of apps inside a folder. And as I said, you could put folders inside of folders inside of folders inside of folders. Yes, I said it. <laughs> this next one is called Stay Open. And basically what it allows you to do is install as many apps from App Store at once without the App Store closing out. So normally when you go and you install an app from an App Store, every time you click install, it's going to come back out to your home screen. I hate that stupid shit. And that's basically what Stay Open allows you to do. It allows the App Store to just stay open and you can just go and install and install and install app after app after app. And when you come out to your home screen, you're just going to see all apps that you install on your home screen without coming out and out after every app. 
This next one is called Color Keyboard. Yes, Color Keyboard. You guys can see I have this big ass pink keyboard right here. I love Color Keyboard. It, it, there's a ton of different Color Keyboards inside CDL. I actually did a top 10 Color Keyboard um, teams. It's an old one, but you can definitely check it out. Link is going to be in the description. And even if I, I make my keyboard smaller, you guys can see it also supports that. You can add a number of different teams to your keyboard and just spice it up a little bit. This next one is called Swipe Selection. If you use your iPad to type a lot, this is definitely the tweak for you. Basically, what it allows you to do is move your cursor without having to touch your screen and bring up the magnifying glass. So I could just swipe on my keyboard and move my cursor. If I wanted to highlight, I just touch shift and then just highlight all the way there. That's basically what it allows you to do. One, if you type a lot on your keyboard, you did definitely go ahead and check out Swipe Selection. The next one is called Gridlock. You should, all of you guys shouldn't basically know what Gridlock allows you to do. Basically, it allows you to put your icons anywhere on your springboard instead of having the, have the default layout. Not even a default layout, but normally without this, whenever you move an icon, it's going to shift everything back. With this, you can put them wherever you want to without it having to shift back. So you guys can see I actually have spaces between my icon, and that's basically what Gridlock allows you to do. This next one is called Multi Icon Mover, and you guys should also know what Multi Icon Mover does. And it basically allows you to move multiple icons at once. I could just go and then I touch my home button, and I could move them just like that. Put them inside my folders and all that good stuff. That's basically what Multi Icon Mover allows you to do. Instead of having to move all your icons one by one, you move them at once. Now, last but not least, these two tweaks go hand in hand, and one is called Full Force, and the next one is called Retina Pad. I don't have the um, have Retina Pad installed on my device right now because it hasn't been updated to support the new iPad, but it's Ryan Petrix, and I know he's going to update it sooner or later, hopefully sooner. But basically what Full Force allows you to do, normally when you download an iPhone app onto your iPad, it normally opens up in that little stupid ass screen. When you have Full Force installed, it opens up fully and Instead of opening up in that little last screen and with retina pad it gives it like um, a retina resolution so it looks a lot better and it's not as faded out as possible as it normally would be but yeah that's basically my top 10 that was kind of like uh, 11 or 12 but you guys got an extra free extra two free whatever but definitely go ahead and check out the link in the description if you want a full in-depth video on on all of the tweaks that I did here also if you want to see my top 50 CD tweaks video for iPhone iPod touch and iPad link is going to be in the description if you didn't jailbreak your device before on iOS 5.1.1 on Tether, link is going to be in the description. Top 10 notification center widget, link is in the description. Top 10 color keyboard tweaks um, teams, link is going to be in the description. Oh yeah, that was a lot of freaking information, man. Anyhow, thank you for all the support, guys. I definitely love you guys, so I'm hooking you guys up. With that being said, please rate, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day. Make sure you show that thumbs up button some love. And if you aren't subscribed, what are you waiting on? Hit the subscribe button above. Like my Facebook fan page and follow me on Twitter. I answer questions a lot faster on Twitter than I do on YouTube. Oh yeah, and check out my previous video if you haven't already.